it's not a secret that most people are overly conscious about or some people are overly conscious about their health because health health is is important and we want to stay as young and as energetic as possible as healthy as possible and um, there are even talks about um possible existence of the fountain of youth now this does that thing really exist? Well, apparently, um, it does exist. And before you throw rocks at me, let me clarify why I said so. There is a world that is about to come. And this world, and in this world, there will be um, no more pain, no more suffering, no more sickness, no more death. No more hunger, no more aging. In fact, the story says that we will be given in that world a body that will not be corrupted by death, a body that is so glorious. It shone, it shines like the sun, and we will never ever grow old in that place forever. It's not a fairy tale. I'm not talking about a fairy tale. What I've just described to you is what the Word of God, the Bible says, the new heaven and the new earth. The Word of God says that Jesus will come soon, very soon. The events clearly show that He's coming, is very near. And when He comes, He will judge the world. And afterwards, He will change this world, change the earth and then create a new earth and in that world we are having these incorruptible bodies now that is a good place to be at in the afterlife the question is how come people don't want to go there and how come people don't like the fact that you know, when someone tells them about this place, they think the person who's telling it to them is a lunatic. You know, a lot of people would spend money, heaps of money, to insure, say, their properties, their cars, their houses, even their health. And they pay lots of money for that. Now, this one, this insurance, that is offered in God's word is actually free of charge. But it's interesting that people tend to brush it off as lunacy. And um, it makes you wonder. And um, well, as a believer, I know that that's the enemy's um, tactics really to make it sound crazy to people. But if you dig up God's word, you will see that this has been offered um, to all of us, free of charge. There's only one requirement, and that is to surrender your life to the creator of this coming world. His name is Jesus Christ. All he requires is that you surrender your life to him and accept him as the Lord and Savior of your life. And then when the time comes, you will be with him in this paradise. The only people that can enter that world, according to God's word, are those who are perfect. That's impossible, isn't it? Because all of us, none of us is perfect. Every one of us in some way or form have broken the commandments of God. Some of us have lied, some of us have stolen, even murdered, and, you know, like, you can't get away on Judgment Day, because God will always have one thing against you. And you cannot say to him that, I'll just tell him I'm sorry, you know, because you cannot do that in front of the judge. If you've stolen something, you just say, I'm sorry, judge, let me go. You know, you'll have to pay the penalty. 
that's the dilemma that's the bad news that we are facing we will face god one day in judgment and we will be pronounced guilty that's pretty much sure and god's word says that the payment for our sins is death in romans chapter 6 verse 23 the wages of sin is death but god did something something wonderful and this is what we call the good news he did something on our behalf he died to take the penalty meant for us upon himself so that we will not be punished accordingly but that he who has no sin sacrificed himself as if he committed the sin and the word of God said the wrath of God fell on him and he took our penalty now that death the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ is available for everyone it is free for all it doesn't mean that because he died for our sins we are already saved we have to repent we have to acknowledge that we are already guilty and are bound to a place of torment the opposite of this perfect place that i've been talking about that's the bad news we are already destined to that bad place but god did something he sent his son jesus christ according to john 3 16 for god so loved the world that he gave his son jesus christ to die for our sins our requirement ours or our responsibility is to put our trust in him and to repent meaning to turn away from the sinful things that we do and surrender our lives to him by asking him to come into our lives when we do that all our sins will be transferred to him and he will say to God the Father he's paid it all and when God looks at us he will not see us but he will see his son within us and he will pronounce us perfect to enter this world that new world so and again this is an insurance that is free of charge so what are you waiting for call on God now surrender to him confess to him all your sins just between you and him confess your sins to him and ask Jesus Christ to live within you and be your savior and your